In this video, we continue our work with functions by introducing function notation. And when we are working with functions, and especially when we're working with more than one function at a time, it can be very convenient to name a function. And most often we will name it f or g or h. In any function, for each x value in the domain, we get a corresponding y value in the range. So when we are using f as the name of the function, where x is the domain value, we represent the y range value that corresponds to x with this notation f of x. y equal to f of x gives us information about the function. This notation tells us that f is the name of the function, that x is the input variable, and f of x is representing the output variable. And that is read, by the way, f of x. And the parentheses used in the notation do not represent multiplication. This is just part of the notation. So now let's use this function notation to evaluate some function values. Taking a look at the first example, here we have the function f of x equal to 4x squared minus 3x, so we have a quadratic function, and we're asked to evaluate f of 2. So in using the function notation, y is equal to f of 2, which means that 2 is the x value. So x equals 2, and we are asked to substitute 2 into our function that's given and evaluate the y value that corresponds to x equals to 2. f of 2 is going to be equal to 4 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2. So again, with the function notation, the value that's inside these parentheses, that's your x value. And when they're asking you to evaluate f of 2, they want you to find the y value that corresponds to that x value. So now, here we're going to do our order of operations and evaluate the y value that corresponds with x equals to 2. And so then f of 2 is 10. And in this notation, when you see this statement, you know that the graph of this function will have the order pair 2, 10 in its graph. So I'm going to tie in some concepts together for you. Let's try that example again with another function. So we're going to take a look at number 2. Okay, problem number 2, f of x is another quadratic function, 3x squared minus 5x plus 2, reminding you for future work that quadratic functions such as this have graphs that are parabolas. Okay, we're going to do that in a future chapter. And we are asked to evaluate f of minus 2, f of minus 2. So again, x equals to negative 2 is our input value. And when they're asking us to find f of minus 2, we're just asking to replace x with negative 2 in the function and find the range value or the y value that goes with this negative 2. And again, we will be using our order of operations here to do this work, and we get 24. So we've just found that f of negative 2 is 24. So the answer when you're evaluating f of negative 2 is the 24. And to tie it into the graph for future work, remember that this this function notation is giving you quite a bit of information because it's telling you that the order paired negative 2, 24 is on the graph of the parabola. Okay, that's for future work. But as you do your homework, the 24 is what they're looking for. Okay, all right, a couple more. Problem number three, we have an absolute value function. This time the function is named g. So g of x is is equal to 2 times the absolute value of x minus 5 plus 4. We're asked to evaluate g of negative 4, which means that our x is negative 4, and we are going to find the y value that corresponds to an x of negative 4 
by substituting our negative 4 in the function equation and doing some order of operations. So with absolute value, as you recall, you want to simplify inside the absolute value first. They act kind of like parentheses. So you're going to write here 2 times the absolute value of negative 9 plus 4. And then the absolute value of negative 9 is a positive 9. So we have 2 times 9 plus 4, and that's 18 plus 4, or 22. So g of negative 4 is 22. And again, on the graph of g, if we were going to be graphing g, our order pair would be negative 4, 22. That would be on the graph, and tying in some previous work, absolute value functions are the functions that have graphs that kind of look like V's. They look like V's. They look like that. What we were asked to find is right here. G of negative 4 is 22. One more. Problem number 4. This kind of function, and the name is H, is called a rational function. And we are asked to find H of 4, which means that X equals to 4. So h of 4 is going to be equal to 4 minus 2 over 4 plus 2. And then we get 2, 6. And you want to reduce that to lowest terms to 1 third. h of 4 is 1 third. We'll be using function notation quite a bit in this course, so it's important that you practice and get used to this notation.